Welcome to Piping Tutorial YouTube channel. We continue piping tutorial with one more useful video. On this video we will learn how to calculate pipe length in the pipeline. Sometimes it is required to calculate the length of the pipe length in piping isometric drawings. You can easily learn how to calculate pipe lengths and pipe fittings length by watching our video to the end. At the end of this video, you can be sure that you will get extensive information about pipeline fittings calculation. Let's starting video. As you can see, this is a 3 inch pipe. The main question in this video is, we need to calculate the length of the yellow pipe shown with question marks here. This pipeline is rotated at a certain angle. As a result of this rotation, 600 mm and 110 mm catheters were created here. Let's see how to calculate the length of this piece of pipe. To find the length of this piece of pipe, we will first find the distance from the center of this elbow to the center of this elbow. Then we can subtract the lengths of these two elbows from this measurement and find the length of the yellow color pipe piece. Let's complete these dashed lines into a right triangle to find the distance between the elbows. The length of this blue line will be equal to the distance between the elbows. Here, this blue line acts as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We know that the Pythagorean theorem is used to find the hypotenuse in a right triangle. Let's calculate the length of the blue line in this right triangle by applying the Pythagorean theorem. If we denote hypotenuse by h, then the square of h is equal to the square of 110 plus the square of 600. We continue the calculation, the square of h is equal to 12100 plus 360000. We continue, the square of h is equal to 372100. Here using the calculator we find that the square root of 372,100 is 610 or we can write 372,100 as 610 squared. As a result, the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle, H, is equal to 610 millimeters. 610 millimeters is also the distance between the two elbows. Now let's calculate the length of the yellow pipe we need by subtracting the lengths of the two elbows from this total length. The elbows here are 3 inch 90 degree but weld elbows. We will use the 90 degree elbow dimension chart to find the elbow lengths. This is dimension but weld 90 degree elbows chart. This is a 2D isometric illustration of a 90 degree elbow. Where D is outside diameter of elbow. Here A is the distance from the center of the long radius elbow to the end. NPS mean of is nominal pipe size. In the example we are looking at, the size of the elbow is 3 inches. By looking at this chart, we can easily see that the outside diameter of the 3 inch elbow is 88.9 mm and the length is 114 mm. Now let's subtract the lengths of the elbows from the total length. We calculated that the total length is 610 and the length of the 3 inch 90 degree elbow is 114 millimeters. Pipe length equal is 610 millimeters, 2 by 114 millimeters. Here 
Here we calculate and find that, 3 inch pipe length equal is 382 millimeters. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel, and share these piping tutorial videos to your friend. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes my friends. Thank you for watching see you on next video take care.